Good morning guys. It's seven o'clock in the morning and I wanted to do a work work with me um, chit chat video for you just basically explaining what my channel is about. Um, my journey through learning how to create a pet accessory business. And so I got my coffee ready as you can see. And so the first thing that I'm going to do this morning is finish off these over the color pet bandanas that I've been working on. Now I have decided to switch over to a different style. And so I'm kind of like regretting that I cut all this fabric. And so I'm just showing you all the pieces that I have to sew today. So I'm going to put you in front of the sewing machine and then we're just going to have a little chit chat and you guys can hang out with me while I finish this up before I move on to the next item on my list. Okay guys, I was planning on talking while I was sewing, but I quickly realized that I cannot talk and sew at the same time. So I just wanted to show you what I just did. Um, this was the first time I ever did a chain stitch and I'm not sure why I didn't do it earlier um, because this saved a lot of time and an extra step that I didn't need to do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and finish out these um, bandanas so I'm starting off with these and then these are the ones that I need to still finish um, I think these down here I've already done the stitch stitch them together I just did these earlier this morning and then I have to do these and then I have to stitch along the outer edge and trim it and flip them over and then I will be back once I'm ready to iron them and then we can go into more detail about what my plans are regarding this channel and my business and real quickly I just wanted to show you all the ones that I've already have completed um, this one's really cute so we do plan on going back to the market in the middle of February um, so yes we will be missing the Valentine um, holiday sale I guess um, we did really good during Christmas time so but 
yeah there's a lot of more products that i want to create before we go to the market so i want to take you along my journey so if you're interested in that uh, don't forget to um, subscribe to my channel and if you like this video and want to see more content like this um, please hit that like button and that just shows me that you're interested in uh, videos like these like behind the scenes of starting a small business and i can know um I can answer some questions that you may have and like I said I'm a beginner sewer uh, this is my first time uh, actually diving into a small business on my own um, and I'll talk further about that with you um, when we're ironing out uh, these dog bandanas in this video so I will be back when I am there okay guys I just wanted to give you an update to show you where I'm at with these um, bandanas. So I went ahead and stitched all the center pieces. So basically just attaching the front and the back and then I went ahead and ironed the seam open so I can do the next step and which is this here. So I started to stitch this one out and then I realized that I wanted to give you an update. So this is gonna be your side seam so when you have your dog bandana, that'll be your opening. So that's where I'm at now. Um, the sun has come up, the kids are still asleep. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with that and then I'll check back in with you guys after. Hey guys, it's about one o'clock in the afternoon. I took a little bit of a break, um, started getting a headache. So I went ahead, took that break, and now I'm back, and I just wanted to show you the progress that I've made. I'm basically doing an assembly line here. So I have all of these uh, hemmed on the side, uh, like I showed you in the video yesterday on how to make these bandanas. And I also wanted to show you why I do it. Um, I see a lot of people just fold it over once, and then they stitch it here which is really fast, but um, my philosophy is that I want quality, not quantity. So that's how I'm gonna run my business is, if it takes me a little bit longer to do one outfit or one accessory, that's fine, because I really want my products to last a really long time. So as you can see here, when you just fold it over once and you don't do that little hem, that double fold over your fabric will start to fray especially if you're um, taking these on and off your dog collar um, over time it'll start to uh, fray really bad and so I don't want that to happen to the items that I make so that is where I'm here um, in my progress for today I'm gonna go ahead and fold them in half and um, stitch them down to finish sewing today and then I will be back and we'll have a little chit chat while I press them down and I also wanted to show you the sewing machine that I started off with um, I do have I have upgraded my sewing machine but that was a Christmas anniversary present that I got in December so I just wanted to show you that you don't have to start off with an expensive sewing machine um, to start um, making items to sell and I'll pull that out um, the sewing machine and the dog bandanas that I've made with that particular sewing machine so I will check in later hey guys it's the next day I didn't get to finish yesterday but I wanted to show you what I was talking about uh, as far as marking my um, stitch line with um, this friction erasable pen. Um, so I just wanted to show you how it worked. So I went ahead and did the half an inch um, marking for my seam. And then I'm gonna use my little iron. And as you can see, it just disappears. So in case, if you're looking for a fabric pen, um, you can just use a regular friction erasable pen. I got these from Walmart today. So, um, there's a little tip for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish these out. I think I have like eight or nine 
and then I will come back and show you what I've done yesterday and today and then I also wanted to show you the sewing machine that I started out with as well as bandanas that I have made on that machine so once I get these sewn up I'll be back to show you that hey guys I'm back so it is the third day I try I finished all the dog bandanas that I wanted to complete uh, last night and I went ahead and ironed them out but before I show you what I did I wanted to show you the sewing machine that I started off with making uh, these over-the-collar dog bandanas so um, I'm not sure if I mentioned this before the purpose of my channel is to document and if you want to follow the journey of me creating um, my pet apparel business so this is going to be a journey of the creation of to the development of my uh, small business so I wanted to show you these were the dog bandanas that I made uh, using this sewing machine it's also a embroidery machine but I don't embroider any of my dog bandanas and these labels I made them on Canva and all it is is printer paper and then I fold it and then I attach it together with some tape and then there's some washing instructions on the back so I wanted to show you, um, you don't have to start off with anything fancy. Like I said, this is just basic printer paper. And then these are all the bandanas that I made. Um, I've sewed some of these, so this isn't like all of them, but um, this one's really cute. <laughs> so I started making these, and I just dropped one. I started making these in the beginning of December. Um, actually the the end of November time frame of last year 2021 and so um, these are all the ones that didn't sell last year and this one's one of my favorite too this pattern um, I'm trying to decide whether or not to continue purchasing fabric from your local craft store like Hobby Lobby or Joann's or if I'm gonna go with another like a fabric printing shop where I can have like dog bandanas, hair scrunchies, and maybe some pet blankets um, out of the same print. So I'm still doing research on that. I think it's going to save a lot of time and money in the long run. So I can just order it online and not have to go to the physical store. Um, so... If you're interested in seeing my journey don't for, and you like this video so far, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you follow me along on my small business. So these were the dog bananas that I made on um, the past couple of days when I started this video. So I had all this fabric that you see here, I had purchased when the pandemic first hit. So I used to make um, the face coverings with it and donate them. And this one's really cute too. So all of these will be taken to the market. Uh, we plan on going back to the market in the middle of February. It's really cold. We're actually in a winter storm right now. So we were supposed to get snow, but of course we're not going to get snow. So these are the extra small, these are the small, these are the mediums. And so I just wanted to show you what I have here. And if you're interested in uh, seeing our market setup, because I go with my husband and my son, we all sell different things. I can do a video on that if you'd like. And then these are the large, extra large. And I don't make many, uh, this is the first time I've made that size, um, but it uses a lot of fabric and not many people have asked for that size. So that's why I only have this. So what I'm gonna do now is, and like I said before, this is the last time I'm making over the collar dog bandanas unless you know they all sell out and somebody wants them. Um, but I'm changing the style of uh, pet bandanas that I'll be making. And the reason I keep going back to dog and pet is because I have a cat and she likes to wear them. 
and you saw a picture of her in my first video on this channel and her name is Lexi and so and I also have two dogs that I also make them for but I wanted to change the style because I'm trying to make them a little bit more um, make them to wear without a collar and I think I'm gonna like that style better so um, Okay, that's it for today's video. I know it's been a three day journey for me to finish this video, but if you want to follow my journey, uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you here. And that's it, okay? You guys have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye.